Hey Measuring Hero, Jay here. There's a lot of talk about how x-ray will become potentially the way we measure in the future. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know a lot about it, so I thought we would come back to Zeiss X-ray Technologies near Milan so I can learn more about it. Maybe you should come with me. Hi, Jay. Hey, Marco, how are how you, are my you friend? Doing? Good I'm to see fine, you. Thank you. Thank you for helping me because I uh, understand there's a lot. X-ray is the future, so I need help understanding how to measure this part. Okay, you should not talk about measure. Really? You should okay. talk about uh, inspection, okay? There's a difference. Yeah, it's a different. Yeah, this is the casting part. It's casting part, so you have to check if inside there are some defect. Typical defect of the casting are maybe porosity or cracks okay. inside the material and you cannot see by your eyes. So you have to go and to penetrate by X-ray. But uh, this is something we call inspection. So you have to inspect all the parts and see if in some critical area there mm -hmm. are some defects. Got it. So that means that we have to put in the machine and to take different shots mm -hmm. of the part of different area and see if there are defects inside. Then the operator or you will decide yeah. if reject and remelt it again because it's aluminum is a very precious material uh -huh. or go ahead with the production. Okay, so uh, from, from, from my education, why would you just take multiple shots and uh, not... Okay, there is a reason. The reason is that uh, the detector is, uh, cannot, uh, is not big enough to fit okay. in one shot. Then, because for the better checking, you need to tilt in different angles and different positions. And some positions, some parts are more critical than the other. Okay. So you have to make a specific shot on the critical area. Let's say that approximately seven, eight, or maximum 10 shots, you can check the, the, the full part. Okay, and what would the cycle time to measure those critical features on say something like this? You want to see? I'd love to see it. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I have in the machine a okay. similar part. It's not exactly the same, but okay. it's similar. And I already prepared a demo cycle. Would you like to see it? I would it now? love to see it. Sure. Imagine the operator load the part okay. here on the turntable, then push the start button, and the system starts the cycle. Now, you will see on the screen all the shots. Okay. okay? The first image will come in line where you can see some different here, then the second image, and then the third image. How many images you need, then you can make a program with the, all the images you need. So now it's fifth, fifth of 10. Uh, after 10 images, the machine will download automatically the part. Now it's seven. So you see different part of the, sure. of the part. Okay. So you mean this is almost done? Yeah. Oh, okay. This is nine to 10. Because usually when I see okay. CT inspection, it takes like 30 it's, minutes. It's a different technology for it's different purpose. Okay, this is finished. Now you can remove, put okay. the next one, put the next one, put the next one. Or you can prepare program for different kind of part. Uh, cycle time is approximately less than one minute, 30 seconds, yeah. between 30 seconds and one minute. So it's very fast. And it uh, takes uh, more or less two seconds per shot. Depend of the complexity of the part, you need more sure. or less shot. That's but anyhow, is much faster than CT. Way faster. Okay, yeah. I'm beginning to understand it. So we have this system available in three different sizes. Okay. For with which si this sizes you can check up to 1.5 meter length. Oh, so it's bigger. Of cast, such okay. a bigger casting. Yeah. This is small, but you can. But we have also a smaller one and the bigger one. This is for the sizes. Okay. Then we have to talk about the power. So uh, this is aluminum and very easy to penetrate. Yeah. This is 225 kV power. Sure. But uh, if you change the thickness so yeah. high or we change the material with more density, then we have to move it to higher power. To a different one. But with this one, you can also check uh, this uh, cylinder head, which is bigger and which is thicker. Definitely but thicker, you, yeah. you, you, you no can problem. check by this one without any problem. But let me throw a curveball at you. What if I were to, for example, bring you a big titanium airfoil blade? Uh, is that something that we could do? Titanium is not easy because uh, the density is very high. Yeah. But uh, we can do it, but we have to move to higher power. This is the 
the most powerful of the Bozello Max family system. Okay, this is 450 kV, and right. as I told you, that could be suitable for for part with more thickness or more density. Yeah, like this big like blade. Exactly <laughs> like this. This is titanium blade. Wow. This is for aerospace application. Okay. And it's also very costly part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And uh, this is perfect for this. We have 450 kV tube mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. and we have a, a flat panel detector, 200 microns and 16 inches. Wow. So that's, uh, with this, you can, it's perfect for 2D, but also, if the part is not so big, you can also do 3D. Oh, you can do a little 3D yes. here okay. too? Okay. Uh, okay, the resolution is not like a measurement system, yeah. but could be enough some, for some yeah. application. And this is perfect, and this is 450 kV. We can have the same model, 320 kV. Okay. It is uh, exactly like the other, with the same software, is the uh, same user-friendly like the other, but is all, only more powerful. Got it. So this is, in fact, Exactly, all the features that you showed me over exactly. there. Exactly, and this one you can load up to 1.2 meter length part. Bigger. And uh, what is different is the shielding, mm -hmm. it causes more power and more radiation, okay. as the shielding yeah. is a little bit more. Sure. And the weight of the total system is approximately 14 tons. 14 yes, tons? Yes, this is wow. 14 tons. And uh, what's also interesting to know that uh, because we have to load the more heavy part, mm -hmm. the system itself is more strong. Sure. The two table you can load on it up to 120 kilos on this turn. on this, wow. and uh, yeah. it is coming out from the machine because uh, to make the loading much easier. Oh yeah, you can using crane or yeah. uh, forklift yeah. or other because yeah. by hand of course you cannot. And the quality of image is exactly good. Like is this image this, from this is exactly an image of this blade? Wow. So I think. Um, not only do I see that if your customers need 2D inspection, the Bocello Max family really kind of has... You can cover any, any requirement in there. because we have 160, we have sure. 225, 220, sure. and 450, uh, which is the maximum power you can get with this technology and the different sizes. Perfect, perfect. It's absolutely. Marco, thank you for spending time and explaining to me what 2D inspection Pleasure, really Jay, needs. and uh, thank you for coming and visiting us. Okay, of course, Bye. my friend. Thank you, and for you out there, hope you enjoyed our little soiree into 2D inspection. Uh, hope you continue to stay safe and stay healthy, and we'll see you next Thursday.